hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a new game that the developers wanted me to take a look at called Prehistoric Hunt. I did have some interest in this before, and I was thrilled to at least be able to get it to try it out. Now, I don't know anything about this. It's the first time I've really, other than the splash screen you see here, look, looked at this, but my understanding is you're supposed to be able to go after at least, like, 10 or 11 different species and they're adding them all the time and I don't know if it's anything like the hunter there used to be something called the hunter primal some years ago but apparently the developers stopped supporting that one so I will take a look at this one see what this looks like but you can go in there I've already got characters set up here he's kind of a generic looking old guy honestly <laughs> but uh, not too much to him but it, this is an early release so I'm sure they're making changes to it all the time well, let's go here go ahead here and see what this looks like we've got let's see match name Hawkeye 765 we'll just call this Hawkeye Maximum players 12. Wow, that would be something. Let's do this as a solo in private because we don't want anybody joining our game, honestly, unless we invite them. I believe this is set up to where people can come in through Steam and actually join the game. Bigfoot's made up that way as well. So I am a dinosaur hunter trainee. So maybe there's a tutorial. All right. Looks like we're out here in the jungle. Not sure what we're supposed to do. I did take a look at the controls. It looks like they're pretty standard controls. Arrow keys to move forward, backward, that kind of thing. I'm not getting too bad of frames. Okay, looks like we're here near some kind of a dock. So I guess, I don't know if this is like in the past or if you're in some kind of island with the dinosaurs, how that works. Let's see, we've got controls. So, like I said, most of these are pretty standard. Shoot, aim, mouse, one. Switch guns. You also can use the uh, a controller if you happen to have one. So C is to crouch, but you have to hold it. It looks like. And I would imagine if you press the shift key, you run faster. So, s but then again, it looks like your stamina runs out. And you have to wait for it to refill. So, pretty much the standard, which is nice. Sometimes they change things. I imagine I is inventory, yes. Vicinity, we've got rifle ammo pack, we've got a pistol ammo pack. And if we scroll the middle button, we switch between our weapons. There we go. Let's see. If we've got C, what does that do? No camera. Now there's some kind of exclamation point just a little bit off of north. I would imagine that's where I need to head to. It says press zero or it's either zero or all. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Contracts. Missions, contracts. Completed contracts need to be submitted at a vendor to get their rewards. You can do multiple contracts before submitting them. Different types of contact contracts can be active at the same time. These can be identified by the contract icon. So a Triceratops chore. Let's see, it's time for the regular reduction of the population of Triceratops. Hunt five Triceratops. So you get 68, I guess that's credits. This one, muse museum needs a Compsognathus. That's the little chicken-sized dinosaur. 
We need to deliver some compsognathus to a big museum, hunt them so we can start our delivery. That just tells a little bit more about them. And then there's possible brachiosaurus epidemic. Multiple hunters have reported signs of weirdly behaving brachiosaurus. This behavior might be caused by an animal virus. Hunt a brachiosaurus for us to study and prevent an epidemic. That's not going to be an easy task. They're big. And then we got missions. The first steps in progress. So we are on the tutorial. So let's just go ahead and keep with the tutorial for the moment. Kind of windy. I'm not seeing any signs of life. No dinos yet. Okay, now it looks like it's due north. Gotta rest up a little bit. Now see, I have seen those in some of the other hunting games as well, but that little sound over on the far right, I can't point to it because my mouse won't let me, but there's like a little symbol that looks like a speaker. Ooh, I hear something. And as I walk, it gets bigger. And the eye below that gets bigger. That means things can see you. But I imagine if you crouch, it's not as bad. Because you're sneaking. <laughs> so, see how much flatter they are when I do that? And they're wide open when I walk. And when I run, they're really wide. I'm making all kinds of noise. Okay, looks like we've got some things over here we need to see. Supply warehouse, location discovered. The first steps, mission complete. Coins gained. Oh, I got 70 coins just for doing that. And XP just for doing that. Stocking up. Stock up on some vital equipment to help you on your hunting journey. Purchase a rifle, ammunition pack, and a med kit. Rifle, ammunition kit, and a med pack. Okay. So. I have nothing to submit. So this is what we... Okay, here's where we go. We need a med kit. Go ahead and buy that. What was it? An ammunition pack? Buy. Alright, that means we've got a little more ammo. And some of these are tranquilizers too, so it looks like we can not necessarily have to kill them. So even though we spent money, we got coins back. So we didn't lose a lot. Okay, so now what's next? Let me check the missions here. That would be on the eye. Let's see. Oh! Ankylosaurus population control. No missions available. Check available con hunting contracts instead. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do about the Ankylosaurus. A feeling they're going to be a little bit tougher to take down because they are armored, armored, armored. Let's see what we got here. This is what is this? And we got a vehicle over here. Toilet. Okay, 
what is this? No fast travel. Oh, okay. That's how you get from place to place. So you, apparently there's other maps. Oh, there's a brachiosaur. That's what we're hearing. And it looks like we got us some carnivores too. That may not be good. So I need to get two of these guys. I'm not seeing any of them. Okay, I'm going to get up to the top of this hill. See if I can't get a bit. What's this? What is this? It's a footprint. Triceratops. Wow, this is much like uh, the hunter, honestly. The only trouble is I can't crouch and stay crouched. It's the only thing I can't seem to... Uh, at least I don't think you can. Let's see. Can you stay crouched? Left control, button B. Hold breath is Q. That could be useful. Hide gun. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Jump is space. Flashlight is F. E is interact. Pretty snag. Like, like I said, R is reload. Pretty self-explanatory. I have a feeling we're going to need that med kit for a daggone good reason. Okay, let's see if we can't sneak up on these guys. Get us a look. Let's see what's out here. The only one I can see is the brachiosaur. Uh-oh. I think the sun is going down. There we go. How in the heck do you take him down? You'd have to have like an elephant gun. <laughs> okay, there's something making a noise over here. There's a cliff. That pair of binoculars are sure coming handy right about now. Okay, there's the trike. I think that's what's making the noise. Just gives us some stats. sure if there's any particular location I need to go to, but something... Okay, here's something. What have we got here? I've got another footprint. Ah, another Triceratops. Can you do more than one mission? I can't remember if... The, oh, there are binoculars here. So how do I use them? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Here's another footprint.
Well, let's just go ahead and follow it, even though we're not... ...hunting that particular dinosaur. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that since we already got that. I'm not taking on any Utah Raptors. Not happening. I think that's going to be for a little bit later. Okay, looks like he went this way. Or did he go down? Which way did he go? Okay, we got something over here. Let's turn off our flashlight. Okay, what do we got? Is. All right. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, we got a little hurt, <laughs> but we got him. Yeah, he charged. <laughs> it's like you think. Oh, you can do the tracking just like you can on the other one too. That is pretty cool. But I don't have to do that. He's right here. So how do I? Do I just interact? Oh, there we go. Looks like I shot him. He's considered small. It's 6,183 kilograms. Okay, I can't... Let me go ahead and fill the contract. See what they're doing. The helicopter coming to get it. Yep, check it out. Kind of looks like what they did on the Jurassic uh, Park Evolution. They just gonna pick it up, and take him, take him away. All right, that's our first Triceratops. So let me see. My health is in the toilet. Let me see inventory use. Okay, that brought me up to 69. Yeah, you don't want to get them to charge you. That's not a good thing. I'm thinking the big gun is going to be needed to get them out. Looks like we got our 
ourselves the watering hole. Okay, I think that's where I started, right over there. Right, let me see. I wish they didn't start you at night. Oh, I think the sun is coming up, though. Yep, moon's going down, sun's coming up. We're going to be able to see things a little bit. A little bit better. Gotta let my stamina build. Oop, there he is. Yep. Hey, old fella. I did see some carnivores. Not sure what kind. I know there's Uteraptors. I believe there's also T-Rexes. I would imagine they'd be far and few in between. Okay, that's him. I think I see something over there. Oh, no, it's just a rock. <laughs> it's a triceratops-shaped rock. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, hello. Now, let's just stay clear of him. He's not what I'm after. Man, that's... That is so cool. Okay, let's let's not get in his path. <laughs> oh shoot. On top of me. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to them either. Apparently they feel threatened. Yeah, he stomped me to death. <laughs> Okay, let's just uh, chalk that up to everything's dangerous here. Okay. What do we got over here? Nothing that I can see. Alright, I am back at the beginning here. Walked quite a good distance and not seeing any more dinos. I don't know if it's because I took one out 
don't know what the deal is, but it's been relatively quiet. I thought maybe if I came back here I would run into something. The only thing I've seen are butterflies. Found a great big redwood forest nearby and not a thing as far as dinosaurs go. Let's see if I can't find another track. This is where I found the Okay. I don't know if there's a certain spot they hang out, what the deal is here. Alright guys, the sun has come up yet again. Our big friend is right in front of us. And he is faster than he appears. how many hits it will take to take him down. I have finally seen an Ankylosaurus. This guy's got a heart that's huge, I'm sure. It's like I said, I don't sure this is going to do much damage to him. Not unless I can take him. He just disappeared. I don't know if he might have laid down or what. Okay, what is this? No, he's still kicking. goes. He's down. There's footprints all over the place. Yep, we want to track these, so... Just like in the Hunter. We want to track them. Probably builds up a skill. Oops. have to select it. See, there's blood splatter. By the blood splatter. See, he went all over the place. Not that I can miss him. I mean, he's huge. But the fact that he's huge might mean a lot of XP. Jeez. There's one big 
again. Let's see, 21,202 kilograms. Furthest hit, 336 meters. I hit him all over the place. This is how we get to see the helicopter. Alright guys, I had to leave the game and when I came back I even though it's maintained my score and everything, I basically lost the contract that I had. <laughs> so something that needs to be fixed. It's if you're playing a single player character, you need to be able to save it. I didn't see the option. I was just kinda hoping that it was gonna to continue saving it. The only other big issue I see about this game, guys, is it is kind of hard to find them sometimes. There's a lot of th I've walked around for almost an entire day looking for something, and there's absolutely nothing. And they've got some of the dinosaurs on here are, are small. <laughs> uh, Compsignathus, that's a tiny little dinosaur. That's going to be really tricky to locate. Unless it's found on a different island, but it seems to me if they're going to have the contracts here, they've got to be found. I don't know if you just have to go more of a distance or what you have to do, but I don't know if that Brachiosaurus even counts, to be honest. I'm going to run over here real quick. you got to remember, though, this is an early release. There are going to be bugs. So they are still working on it. I would say right now this is probably... I would give it probably about three stars. I mean, it's a good game. It's a good game. Great game? No, I'm not so sure yet. Given time. Let me tell you something. Seven Days to Die was not a great game in the beginning. It was a good game. And now it's... And it went through a spell where it was not a good game at all. Now it's back to being a good game. And getting better all the time, especially since we added mods. So, you know, games kind of evolve. This has potential. That's all I can definitely say. This has a lot of potential. Well, one thing I have noticed, though, since I came back into the game, there are a lot more dinosaurs. Now, that was not the case. So, really, could be some kind of a glitch. So, I'm seeing what we got here. Yep, there's a Triceratops. Two Brachiosaurs. There's another Triceratops. So, that is an improvement. Yeah, I think we might just have a situation where this is glitching a little bit. And again, like I said, this is a new release. But I'm going to head over here and see if... I don't know what that was. I'm going to head over here and see if that Brachiosaurus I shot earlier counts. If it didn't call this an episode. We'll see if we get any responses from you guys as far as seeing more of this. Let's see here. Oh, nope, I did not get to keep my Brachiosaurus. Yeah, this definitely needs a save game option. But like I said, still early release, still a lot of bugs. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at this game. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with possibly another episode of this. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.